morning there and what a sensational morning it is. Don't know whether you can see the horizon but the colours in the sky is just incredible. Kate and I have just driven down to Albany for the weekend. Strictly it's not a photography trip but of course my camera is not ever too far away from me. We're staying at Middleton Beach down in Albany. And the holiday park is right up against the beach. It is literally 20 meters to get down to the water. So I've grabbed my camera gear and I've come down to the water, seen the sky and thought what I'll do is I'll walk along to the jetty. There's a jetty at Ellen Cove and see whether I can take a landscape shot down here. So I've walked down the beach, I've arrived at the jetty at Ellen Cove and it's gorgeous, it's, it's a nice protected little cove so uh, the water is uh, just beautiful, there's a few waves off to my left hand side and it's just nice to have that sound of the crashing waves, well just rolling into the sand there which is beautiful. Let me talk you through the composition that I've got, it's a fairly simple composition, um, I'll just turn around so that you can see, there's the jetty behind me. Um, I've got some rocks just in the foreground which is going to feature as my foreground interest in the image. I've got the jetty coming in from the right hand side and leading the eye through the image uh, and it stops or it ends around about one third in from the left hand side. On the D850 I've got the 17 to 35 with the polarizer and a 0.9 uh, hard grad. Now the polarizer, all that's doing is really taking the uh, glare off the water, off the surface of the water. Besides the jetty itself and the water, the sky is uh, going to feature quite prominently in this image because of the textures that I've got and also the light or the color that it's capturing from the sunrise. The sun is actually on my right hand side and it is um, rising just over that um, hill just over there. So while the sun is not featuring in the image, certainly the light that is bouncing off these clouds uh, is. So to be able to make the most of that, I've got a 0.9 which brings down the, the light in the sky, enables me to bring up the exposure in the foreground, be able to uh, capture all the textures and detail in the rock and also the shadows just underneath the jetty itself. So of course without any filters I've got quite an uneven exposure. I've got a bright sky, I've got a dark foreground. So by putting a 0.9 hard grad, because the horizon is flat, the 0.9 brings down the amount of light that is coming through from the sky. It evens up the, the exposure across the whole image, it allows me to bring the exposure up a little bit without blowing out any of the highlights in the sky and I can get the detail in the foreground. So I'm at uh, aperture of f8, uh, I'm at a focal length of 17, and my shutter speed is two thirds of a second. And we've got a couple of runners now on the jetty there, which just makes the, all of this really, really interesting. I think they're just going to turn around. Yep, they are. My focus is on the middle of the jetty, by the way, uh, just to make sure that that is nice and sharp. The foreground's sharp and also the horizon's in focus as well, so that's all good. Later on I'll probably put a six stop on there and see whether I can increase that shutter speed to a couple of seconds just to smooth out this water.
was a lot of fun. It was very quick. It was almost over before it started. With winter fading away, the sunrises and sunsets, for that matter, are getting quicker and quicker. And to be honest, I was probably a little bit late this morning, which meant I was a little bit rushed. After I was able to take those first couple of shots from the left-hand side of the jetty, I moved around a bit and just explored the rocks just to get some different compositions with uh, some wet rocks with some uh, green uh, algae just in the foreground the long exposure and I think those turned out quite nicely as well. If they did I'll pop them up at the end of this video so you can have a look. Anyway that's it from me. I'm going to uh, head off see whether Kate's awake and grab some breakfast from somewhere then I think we're going to head off uh, and explore the area a little bit more today so we're looking forward to that. If you enjoyed the video then please give it a like if you haven't already please consider subscribing and until next time thanks very much for watching. Mm -hmm.